This is my Aramaki flat tracker that I'm running in the brakeless class. She is a 70 frame, which I believe is the last of the two frames, I believe. And it's a 71 motor. Uh, it's all stock, except I put a 30 millimeter uh, Delorto on it uh, off of a later bike. The rear hub is stock rear hub on an 18 inch wheel. Uh, running an overlay sprocket, that's not ideal. It's still gear too high. Uh, I need some more gears in there. We're working on that. That'll be phase two. Uh, the front end is a Montessa 35 millimeter baiter. Uh, works pretty good, except as you can see, she's raked out a little bit. Need to bring that in, better handling. I got a 19 inch uh, front wheel. It's actually a BMW snowflake wheel. The header pipe is a, a Lancaster uh, header, and then the muffler <clears throat> is just a stainless steel muffler I got off eBay. I actually like it a lot, actually, but I've got some other designs I'm going to be experimenting with. The uh, still running points in it, and I'm running it on a total loss ignition on a 12 volt battery. Uh, the problem is, uh, during practice, uh, weekend before last, uh, took her out, practice, she ran great, stumbled a little bit on the top. I just assumed it was because the battery was going dead, and I still think that was probably the case. Uh, went back to the pits, swapped the battery out, put the new battery in. I started her up, and she ran great for 15 seconds and then started making a lot of metal clattering noise. So I shut it off, checked that the valve cover didn't come loose or that the exhaust was falling off, and uh, that all looked okay. And then when I went to restart it, I realized that she had no compression. And then we pulled the valve cover off and saw that the valve clearance was about a quarter of an inch. So pretty sure that's a little more clearance than we're supposed to have. So I've got a double race coming up Friday and Saturday. Uh, race up in, up in Payson, Arizona on Friday, which is a, a really fun small track. And then Saturday, we got a race down in uh, uh, Queen Creek where we normally run. Uh, that, that's a really fun track too. A lot of bar banging out there. So I've got like three days to get her up and running. So uh, I'm going to pull her into the garage, tear the top end down, see what happened. I'm suspecting bent valves, but uh, we're going to dig into it and see what happened. And I'm kind of thinking we might have sheared a gear off in there somewhere. So roll her into the garage, pull that motor out, get it on the stand, and uh, we'll pick you up there.